It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And it is a very warm November Santa Ana wind day in Southern California. And the garden gods have blessed us. We are working in La Jolla today, right on the ocean. So it's not too bad here. And look at this wonderful, tiny little jewel box succulent garden that I get to install. I am so excited about this little project. So tiny I can do so much with this I can go crazy with this this to me this type of installation is like a big pot or a big container fun 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 first thing we did was pull out some ugly plant material and a half dead citrus tree what I'm going to do is bring in a really pretty glazed pot and put a semi dwarf Meyer improved lemon in its place and our client has promised me has sworn an oath that she will hand water that citrus tree as per my instructions. So that's step one. Step two was to bring in soil. This, what you see here on the ground is a yard or a truckload or a, um, a what do you call that, Greg, with the loader, a bucket full. What is it, is that right? A bucket, yeah, like a loader bucket full. And it's not enough. This little backyard, getting to it's a little tough. We have to walk down nine steps. So a little trick of the trade, if you've got a small area where you need you know maybe just a yard of soil and it's not real accessible by truck or wheelbarrow get your soil in the bag this is a these are three cubic foot bags of dirt and nine of them makes up a whole yard so nine of these compact bags make up the equivalent of a whole truckload of soil so that's a little trick for you I am starting to work on my mounds and this additional soil will help me complete that process. We've got some little scale boulders. Are these honey quartz? Mm -hmm. Yeah, honey quartz boulders. I'll be staging the boulders around. Here's my start on plant material. Disregard the geraniums. These belong to the client. These are her pots. I haven't asked her yet how married she is to them. I'm kind of hoping that and if they're not special, she'll let me put some succulents in those pots instead. But with this start, I am going to begin installation. I'm not going to do weed fabric in here either because the planting is going to be kind of dense and it's small and the client is totally down with pulling the occasional errant weed. We've got this fence here, wrought iron fence. She likes the borrowed landscape on the other side, so we don't need to concern ourselves with covering up this fence. We are going to be doing some Petalanthus bracteus as a screen against these wooden fences on either side of the property. And I'm going to run some flagstone pathways through the design too. I haven't decided yet on my ground cover what I'm going to do as far as rock. If I'm going to do three eighths or three quarter or even what type, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. Have faith. Remember, as the design progresses, you will be inspired and solutions will come. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting with Groundbreaking in La Jolla, California with your succulent tip of the day.